Hey everybody, welcome back to Mother Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. If you guys are new, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're gonna to be talking about Netflix's To All the Boys. P.S. I still love you. I'm gonna need that letter back. I need proof that someone actually liked me in middle school. <laughs> everyone liked you in middle school. I didn't really care about everyone. This is a continuation to the one that came out like in 2018, I think that's what it was. Um, it is an hour and 48 minutes long, came out on Netflix February the 12th, and we did get a new director. From my understanding, he's actually going to also direct part three, and his name is Michael, and I'm going to butcher his last name, so here it is right here, because you yeah, already know me, and if you're new, so I am not going to lie to you I just saw part one like let's see here I actually saw part one on the 12th when part two came out and I saw part two on the 13th I know right some of you are probably like oh, yes. honestly the movie never really called my attention it just I just felt from the preview just wasn't for me and I technically I, I was I was right I'm not like in love with the movie like everybody else I just, I'm just not the intended demographic for it I'm, I'm a little bit too old for it it's so sad to say which by the way part two made me feel old and I'll get to that later later on in here I didn't hate it and I didn't love it I'm just literally like here with it. So part two picks up right after part one ended. So Laura Jean and Peter. Peter, right? That's his name. So yes, Peter. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm very proud of myself that I remember this. Um, they're starting off their relationship on a real note this time around. So, you know, Laura Jean's just kind of trying to figure out how to be a girlfriend because she's never done it before and of course you know she knows the ex so she keeps trying to like compare herself or compare the relationship to peter's ex relationship which kind of really like messes with her psyche so then enter john ambrose um which is one of the recipients of a letter which i don't think it's really a spoiler because that's kind of what happened in part one with the um trailers that we know that love letters were sent out so that's not a spoiler you guys that was part of the trailer it was part of the trailer right you guys if it's not i'm sorry i know i just said i wasn't going to give you guys any spoilers but i don't think it was a spoiler I mean, that was the whole concept of the movie that love letters that were supposed to be actually mailed out were mailed out anyway it goes john ambrose comes along which i'm gonna go ahead and stop right here and this is gonna be a spoiler you guys and i don't care but Seeing how part one ended, and like I said, I saw them one day to the next, and then I didn't have, you know, two years or a year, whatever it was, to, like, think about it. If I had maybe seen it when the movie came out, honestly, I don't think I would have remembered, to be honest with you, because it was just, like, a very in, like, brief deal. But in part one, John Ambrose was white. Then I don't know what happened, because in part two, he was black. I mean, one thing is would have been if he had got recasted, whatever, but you full on change this dude's race, you guys. But okay, it is what it is. All right, so let me go ahead and circle back to the part that made me feel old. So when they were at a party, um, Lara Jean and Lucas were talking, and this is when Lara Jean asked Lucas if he remembers John Ambrose. And yeah, I know I remember him. I had a huge crush on him when I was little. And I also had a huge crush on uh, Michael B. Jordan when I was little too. I was just like, oh my God, we're, we're, we're at that point now where we're using Michael B. Jordan as a reference when I was little. Like there, there's no Johnny Depp, no Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio. Now it's, you know, th this is this hottie right there. It, it came in the mail. I was like, it, it is perfect. He's a uh, ad campaign for coach, and and it's and it's a uh, and it actually smells pre pretty pretty good. It's it's all right. But this hottie now is being used as a reference for when I was little. It it is really like I was. Oh my god. No, mind you, I think he's freaking hot too. You guys, I do. I know that if this movie had came out like ten years ago, that ending. I know I would have cried because yeah, I know that I'm a crier. Again, if you guys are new, so please subscribe to my channel. I am a crier when it comes to movies. And that final scene, you guys, oh, 
was so sweet. I mean, when she made her decision and I saw that it was snowing, I'm like, but she doesn't like driving in the snow. Like, then certain things happened, certain things were said, and I was just like, oh, that's cute. This really would have had me like, shedding some tears i don't think i would have been full along like oh my god but i think definitely i would have shed a couple tears here and there between part one and part two i really don't know which one i prefer the most i don't really have a favorite to be honest they're they're about the same for me this is kind of going to get two ratings a personal rating and a critic rating so Please take the critic rating more because critically it is better. Critically, I get the appreciated. I know where they're going with the story. Personally, it just wasn't for me. I didn't really feel anything for these characters. Um, it is a cute story. But with that, for myself personally, I would rate it a small popcorn. Critically, which would be my final deal um would be a medium popcorn rating um, so if you've seen to all the boys ps i still love you did you like it did you love it did you hate it or was it just not for you uh which part did you prefer best part one or part two um were you team peter or were you team uh, john ambrose let me know down below before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and of course don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new until next time i'll be seeing you guys in sessions bye